It's the start of a new school year for French children, but it is the president, Nicolas Sarkozy, who will be facing a test. A general strike is planned on Tuesday to protest against the president's pension reform, which is set to be discussed in parliament on the same day. The plan to raise the minimum retirement age from 60 to 62 has been vehemently criticized by opposition and union leaders as too broad brush. Hundreds of thousands are expected to take to the streets for the third time in just a few months. This time around, though, teachers are leading the charge, protesting not only against pensions, but also reforms of the national education system. For the first time, we're going to see young teachers arriving with no professional training. They're going to be put in front of a class with no tools, no help, and with the risk of not being replaced if need be. These reforms have been put into place hastily with lots of bad consequences. The strike is set to massively affect schools and public transports across the country. Yet, opinion polls show 70% of Frenchmen support it. Sarkozy and his embattled Labour minister Eric Wirth, in charge of the pension reform, said that push on with it no matter what. But weakened by financial scandal and disastrous opinion poll ratings, the right-wing president could find the second half of his term much more difficult to handle.